Hey YouTube viewers, I bought this Logitech a Bluetooth adapter that you can use uh, to turn any stereo system into a wireless Bluetooth speaker and it works really well uh, until you get around, oh I don't know, only 10 feet or so. It starts to get pops and crackles and, and pretty poor reception. So I've uh, tried blaming it on the case on my phone and also on, you know, different processes running on the phone. Maybe it's running out of CPU or memory or something like that. Um, but then I started doing research online and it sounds like there's some uh, simple manufacturing flaws within this Bluetooth adapter that are easily fixed. Um, obviously this will void the warranty, uh, but we'll uh, use the advice that I found online and, and see if we get some, some better range. So first thing is to pop these little rubber feet off the bottom. So that one came off easy because I was picking at it earlier. Under these rubber feet, we have four Phillips screws. Fourth one. Okay, now apparently we have a metal plate under here that serves no purpose other than to add weight to the device so the consumer feels like it's a quality product. And there's that metal plate right there. That's what we need to get rid of. Looks like it's glued in here pretty good. Let's see how it's easily pried out or not. Well, right now I am bending some plastic here. So try to work my way around here. Just gonna slide it, see if I can break that bond. I don't care if I scrape scrape the plastic on the other side like I did right there. Um, so just removing this weight apparently increases your range um, from the reports I read about 50% uh, or so. Well that's still not enough for uh, typical Bluetooth performance which I think is supposed to be around 30 feet. So what people have found is after removing this weight if you then start to use the Bluetooth adapter upside down like this you end up with, oh, I'd say for different reports, but 200, 250% of your original performance based on the manufacturer's design. So, as you can see, very simple procedure. And if I would have known that that glue was so strong, I could have probably not bent some plastic under there, but it's not even cosmetic because it's going to be hidden inside this device. So no harm done. Um, one cosmetic hit though that I'm going to have to take is that it's going to be upside down on the shelf, which doesn't look as nice, and you don't have as much you don't have as nice access to the connect button. But so what? Definitely, in, definitely worth the improved range. Nobody can tell how heavy the device is anyway, just by appearance. So I really question Logitech here by adding that metal plate. If anybody uh, from Logitech Manufacturing is seeing this, uh, or if anybody has some insight as to why this weight was installed, if it's not a weight and it actually serves some function, there's some design purpose, I'm sure they have much... Uh, much more intelligent engineers than I am, or than the folks are online who have speculated that that's what the that's what the uh, purpose is of that metal piece. So maybe there is a reason. 
but uh, so far so good for the folks online who've been doing this. And uh, I looked for a YouTube procedure and didn't see one, so I thought I would shoot my own. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll post in the comments the different performance increases that I get from the range. Thanks.